Do you know what chocos do to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Welcome to the first episode of the children's breakfast series where I am having one bowl of multigrain chocos, moons and stars. This bowl has 40 grams chocos, 200 grams stone milk and should be about 275 calories. I used to have chocos all the time when I was young. So this is going to take me back. Let's see what happens. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 27 mg increase? That's not too bad. I thought it will be much higher. This probably happened because they primarily use multigrain atta, which has a lower glycemic index compared to maida. Plus the little bit of proteins and fats in milk prevented blood sugar levels from rising too much. But the thing is that it's still more than 80% carbs and it's got a lot of sugar in it. And whenever I have a meal like this, my blood sugar levels fall below baseline, which is what happened here also, the blue dots. And whenever this happens, I start feeling uncomfortable. I start getting a little bit of a headache and I find it difficult to concentrate on whatever I'm doing. And only when I eat something do I start feeling better and that's because my blood sugar levels start rising. This does not happen when I have a non-sugary breakfast item like besan ka chila. Because if you see the graph of when I had two besan ka chilas, my blood sugar levels came back to normal in the same amount of time, one and a half hours. But they do not fall below baseline. There are no blue dots here. Seeing this result, now I'm thinking that if I would have had more besan ka chila than chocos for breakfast when I was young, I would have been able to concentrate better at school. 